Last week, I met a woman who deletes the pictures off of her phone after she has them printed. She had never given it one thought that maybe she should save her digital pictures. Then she met me and she learned something new. Imagine saving your digital pictures in a place where you can back up your pictures, share them easily, create photo books, and preserve your stories and memories for your lifetime plus a hundred years. It's called Forever and I'm reviewing it today. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, co-founder of Pixology and a photo estate planner. We are your go-to experts in providing education and motivation on apps, tools, and software, the things you need to preserve your pictures. Definitely see my notes and resources in the description below and hit the subscribe button if you need motivation and ideas. We keep posting videos routinely to help you on that journey of saving your family memories. People, we are at risk of losing our memories, our stories, our heritage, and our legacy. We are in the last generation of those people who are able to look through old photo albums and envelopes of pictures and enjoy and talk about the memories. If we don't take a stand today, these memories will be lost. As Bob Dylan once sang, take care of all of your memories, for you cannot relive them. There are two important things to remember when taking care of your pictures. You need one digital home, one place where you can manage your pictures and easily back them up. The second thing, that digital home needs to be something you use routinely. That way you can remember what you are working on, you can keep up with the pictures you're currently taking, and you can remember the tips and tricks of using that program. Now it's time to talk about Forever. It's one of my go-to resources preserving my own family photos. Forever falls into the easy category of photo management software that I reviewed a few months ago. Forever was started back in 2013 to fill a need that was seen in the market. We've been working with Forever for years, providing feedback, testing new products, and so much more. We feel confident in Forever's leadership and vision, so Pixology is an ambassador for Forever. That means if you click on links below, we may receive a commission from your purchases. All right, it's time to provide an overview of the Forever interface online. Here we are at Forever's homepage. I'm gonna log in real quick. And we are brought to my profile tab. If you look across this blue bar, the darker blue bar, we're in my profile view. And you can see that I have 140 gigabytes of storage and 23,000 files. At the beginning of the bar is the library view. And you can see my pictures in chronological order with the newest showing first here. In this view, you can filter by the year and then even the month. And it's a way to see all of your pictures at once. If you want to just see pictures maybe that aren't in an album or aren't tagged or you want to look at only videos, you have options to narrow down what you're looking at in the library view. The next tab is albums. And this is where I've created albums of the pictures I've had through the years. I even have albums for my kids' artwork and an uh, album for my career pictures and some other things that are fun to look at in there. Then there is the tags view. And this is where you can see all the different tags that you may have added to your pictures. I like this if I click on birthday, all the pictures that I have birthday tagged will appear and that's a lot of fun to look at. Could be useful if you are looking for a particular holiday or a person. And so that is the tags view. Then there is print projects. Forever does allow you to order prints, make photo books, calendars, and so much more. So you get to see some of my print projects there. 
The next tab is friends and family. I can go to my daughter's pictures and look at what she's got. Then the last tab is the profile view, okay? And we were there already. Along the top, the lighter blue bar, you can see the different areas of products that they have and the sales they have going on. And at the top top, in the black, you can see who your ambassador is. Let's go back to the library view and I wanna open a picture up because in this view, you can see how you can order prints, share a picture, download it, rotate, edit, even make a slideshow and delete it. In the right-hand panel, you see the information about your picture. That's the overview of the interface. It's simple, and I think my clients overall have an easier time understanding using this than some of the other options that are out there. When I review a digital photo management program, there are four essential things I look for. Number one, you need to be able to organize your pictures in file folders or albums. In the case with Forever, we organize using albums. And you saw that when I was in the albums view. So I'm gonna click on historical photos. And what's nice is you can have nested albums. So my album of historical photos has nested albums with a whole different variety of people depending on which side of the family they're from. And I love this. It makes it really easy to understand what you're looking at. Here's another one on the 2010s photos. I have one photo probably to make the cover picture here. And I have 12 nested albums. And we'll just take a quick peek in there so that you can see all of my nested albums for the 2010s. Forever meets my first criteria. The second criteria is we need to be able to edit the metadata of a picture. This means the digital information that goes along with the picture. It's especially important when you're working with a historical picture because you have to scan it and you'll want to change the date of that picture to the date it was taken, not the date it was scanned. Here is a newspaper article from 1964 that I saved. This is about my great uncle. It was a big story at the time, but it happened in 1964. So let's edit this information and we're gonna go and change the date down here to 1964. I'm also gonna put uh, Herman Ostrowski accident. And you can see this is from a newspaper report, a tank explosion. Now we want to download the picture and I want to update the metadata. You can see it'll take a little bit longer, but that picture will be downloaded with the new date on it. So forever meets my second criteria of being able to edit the metadata. The third criteria revolves around backing up your photo collection. Now forever has three locations around the country where your pictures are backed up three times. What they don't do is give you a backup in your home. So if you don't have access to the internet, you don't have access to your photos. You may want to consider downloading copies of your pictures to your computer just in case. So on the third criteria, Forever doesn't meet providing that automatic copy in your home. I work around this by organizing my pictures with Mac Photos and I upload the pictures I want to the cloud. So in my case, Forever is my backup outside my home and my computer has my pictures on it inside my home. The fourth essential feature that I think is so important is do I like using it? You have to like using it. I want you to use your program routinely. That means monthly, if not even weekly. So you've gotta like using it. And forever, I, I do like using it. It's simple, it's easy to add the tags and make photo books. It really is fun to use. So it meets that criteria for me. Forever meets three out of four of my criteria. With regards to the backup, just make sure you've got a copy of your pictures in your home so that you're covered if you don't have internet access.
There are some other features that a photo management program can have, and I'm gonna to touch on those briefly for you here. When we go into the picture, we can edit that photo. Remember, we looked at that uh, on the top row here, there is the edit. So I'm gonna click edit, and I have all these options along the bottom. Another feature that's helpful is the ability to share pictures. And with the Forever app on your phone, it's easy to text, email, and even airdrop a picture to one of your family members or friends. Online, when I go to the share button, I can copy the link and emails and post it on Facebook or send it via Facebook Messenger. You can also invite your friends and family to start their own forever account and exchange pictures that way. Facial recognition is another feature that's really handy to help you identify a lot of people and a lot of pictures quickly. Forever does not have facial recognition yet. I'm crossing my fingers that it's coming soon. The last thing I like to point out is that if a program can recognize duplicates, that's really helpful. And Forever does recognize duplicates and it also recognizes them if the name of the photo has been changed. So that's really handy. Forever is pretty easy to use and I like having a simple option for my clients. Now the big question is, is how much does it cost? And the nice thing is, is you can get a two gigabyte account for free that comes with a $20 coupon by clicking the link below and you can use that coupon towards storage. Forever sells storage in increments of 10 gigabytes on up. 10 gigabytes is $199. When you buy more storage, there is a break, and we always recommend watching for sales. You should watch for at least a 30% sale or more to help you get more bang for the buck. What I really like is a portion of your purchase price goes into the Forever Guarantee Fund. This means that money's being set aside to ensure your pictures and video and documents are preserved and migrated to the newest technology for your lifetime plus 100 years. All right, how do you feel about Forever? Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear what you think and your thoughts might help someone else who's making a decision about what to do with their pictures. Think about 100 years from now, what will your family know about you? I highly recommend you check out Forever and that's it for today, we will see you the next time.